Hello to everyone. Your names are Mauricio Montanares and Christoph Herman, and we have the pleasure to present a use case of Julia in an interdisciplinary project related to studies of Antarctic plants. We are with the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, University of the Bio Bio, Chile, and your responsibility in the project title Nocturnal in Situ Warming filling the gaps to unravel plants response to regional warming of Antarctic Peninsula, was to design and elaborate an electronic system for plants temperature monitoring and control to stimulation of future microclimatic growth conditions. The studies were carried out in the Antarctic King George Island near to the Polish Antarctic Station Artoski during the Antarctic summers 2020 and 2021. The principal objective of the system was to monitor the temperature of 90 plants and to control the temperature of 30 plants during the night time to maintain the difference in the temperature between the ambient and the plant near to 5 Celsius degrees. We have found a solution to a both problem using a distributed sensor actuator network embedded system and Julia language. Your network was based on two types of ARM processors, Cortex-M3, which was a part of a custom board called ARM node and Citara Cortex-88, an application processor which is a head of the Beagleboom Black single board computer. The network was interconnected using CAM protocol, which provides reliable non-hierarchical data transmission between networks nodes and bridged to a TCP IP network. Julia has provided use with some useful features in order to manage the whole system and data collection. Using Julia, we have developed a TCP IP server which receives requests and to triggers events which manage the whole network. Julia provides use also a convenient way to implement a TCP IP telnet client which receives and parses the CAN frames at a rate of 50 kilobits per second, providing this way a mechanism to collect the data from the sensors. The last feature of Julia we have used was the data frame package, which helped use to manage all the data and the backup mechanisms via CSV files. In the results section, we have shown some average time series of the plant's temperature and ambient temperature separated by three comparative groups where one can observe the fixed difference between the ambient and the plant during the night time, 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. The biological part of the project will analyze the plant's response to the applied microclimatic condition using sampled biological material and comparative studies. The principal remark after your experience with Julia and embedded system is that the language can reduce the development time and is able to execute the code fast, making the whole system responsive and reliable. We would like to thank the Julia developers for providing an excellent tool which can be useful applied in embedded system. Thank you.